To me, it looks like that nine point is a year older. He's got more muscle mass on the shoulder and the rump. Although the 12 pointer is a longer body deer. All right, going out to hang some cameras, kind of going back to old school. I grabbed a bunch of the, my older cameras because the cell ones don't work the greatest. Um, some work, some don't, depends where we're at. So I got my post pounder, I got some T-posts, chainsaw, batteries, memory cards. I got like probably eight ready to go. And then I'll check on the ones that I do have out also. Hey guys, Capper here and welcome back. So today's gonna be a trail cam update. We're gonna start with these two bucks here, but I'll also mix in um, hanging some new cameras out in the field. We're gonna go over kind of my assessment of the deer on camera so far and if we're going to be doing any outfitting um, what deer I think would be potential shooters and what deer I might pass on and so forth so let's get into it so these two bucks here the first point I want to make with them is that as you see right here this nine pointer which is a dandy is the dominant buck um, so when I look at uh, trail cam stuff I uh, I take all that into consideration, you know, if there's a bully buck or does that mean the dominant nine pointer is a year older or does he just have a, a more tenacious temperament? But either way, these are both beautiful, beautiful bucks. And um, unfortunately, this is one of the cameras with the incorrect dates on it. But this is just from the last couple weeks here, uh, late August, early September. I'm starting to get hard horned um pictures now but look at this 12 point just beautiful and, and there again the nine pointer runs them off but that 12 pointer looks to be bigger a bigger body so uh, i may eat i may try to target either one of these although i mean i'm way behind the power curve but i got food now i got food growing here again the 12 is way bigger than the nine but that nine is a respectable buck them g2s on that nine them could be you know 12 13 inches long but what i'm still learning here is the size of the deer in the ozarks so the bodies seem to actually be bigger than Illinois deer and in talking with Phil and other people it could just be the age structure I mean even the does look bigger than they do in Illinois and again because they have limited number of tags here and they got a four point antler restriction on one side at least up until this year now they're going to do CWD craziness but anyways let's let's get back out in the field hang some more cameras and I'll give you some more of my thoughts on this beautiful farm and the deer and it's just awesome looking at trail cams and nice bucks so as far as this nine pointer he is clearly wider than his ears and you could see his left ear is tore up so he's probably been in some fights but he's out past his ears um, I, I'm not sure if I get a good f head on from the 12 pointer but we'll see here in the next couple clips All right, here's a look at my house plot, some germination, August 25th. Uh, you can see we got a lot of the small seed germinating and the uh, my big seed also is germinating nicely. We just got a rain on it yesterday, thank goodness, because it was starting to bake. But it's looking like uh, the small seeds did not bake out. So right now this thing should just blow up because we got a pretty good soaker yesterday. I also expanded this water and hole the other day, made it bigger <clears throat> so it could withstand drought a little better. Let's see what we got for tracks here. Looks like one there. Well, not as much as I would like right now. Hmm, not sure if I want to spend the camera on this spot or not. I mean, with the rain we got, there's probably, there's a good size track right there. That could be a buck track, maybe. Hmm. Well, let me go put them up somewhere else and see if I got one left or not. 
All right, let's take a look at some different bucks here. Here you can see we got some hard horns on the, the guy on the left here. That's a nine pointer. We've got a lot of pretty good genetics. We got a lot of mainframe 10 pointers and we got a handful of nine pointers. And as you can see, that young nine pointer there is definitely a bully buck, uh, this guy right here. Um, but there's a couple of new players that are going to come into play here. Let's see here. All right, this guy is a, um, I don't know if he's a 9 or a 10, but he's a pretty deer. He's young. You can see he's inside of his ears, but man, he will be a dandy in a couple of years. And here's the bully, the young bully 9 again, going to going to push that beautiful deer off but these are all you know these are i would pass these like and not even think about um bucks like this but there's a really nice couple of nice mainframe 10 pointers i'll try to pull them up next all right i got limited intel so far but just the other day i saw four or five does pop out right here and I got beans in here in this plot, but I overseeded this with wheat and brassicas before the rain yesterday. I'll hit it, hopefully if I get time, once more with clethodim. And then I got a, a micro plot in the, all the way in there that I uh, overseeded it. I worked that one up the other day, um, so we'll see. At least we got some, some new cameras going up. All right, let's talk about this nine pointer. I got him earlier um, a few weeks ago in velvet, but I kind of got a pattern going on this guy. And yes, I got a low tech camera that'll have the right date on here in a minute. Anyways, this is in one of my micro plots, but he, in a couple of these videos, he was coming out in the background there, um, coming out of this, uh, ridge bottom if you will so i'm not sure where he's betting but anyways i put it so i saw him coming out in the background there and i put a new camera on and i think i got a couple of pictures and videos of him let's check that new camera setup even though it's a little bit of an older camera all right here he is on one of my newer cameras um again this is on the back side and there's some other bucks here i think that's a different one yeah this is a younger one um just a straight a pointer but of course they picked off the old school camera, you know, cause the flashes are a little, not as good as modern day, but here now, I think this is the nine here again. Um, this one I didn't have set on video mode. Um, but again, I kind of got a pattern on him and I recently planted this, the, the inside, there's a taller eight, the inside of this in a micro plot. And there's still beans in here. Cause right out here, you're looking at beans. Um, every one of these plots is three to four acres, but here he comes again. This is just a couple days ago, September 2nd. I would like to see him in person, and I'd like to see him hard-horned after he sheds. Um, they're so hard to tell in the summertime, aging them. And you never know, it could be two different bucks, but I'm pretty sure it's the same one as, you know, a month ago when I got him in velvet there. Wow, this plot here got totally overrun with this stuff. I asked the, the DNR guy what it was. I forgot the name of it. He said it's like a one and done kind of thing when you when you work up a new area like this. He's like, it'll, he'll grow once and then it'll die off. Hopefully that's the case because there's beans in here. There's some, but I might just till all this under and do an old school. I mean, you can see some of the beans are halfway decent that are mixed in here but that's all burned off pretty good you know so let's pull the camera see what's going on here okay i found one of the mainframe 10 pointers this one is very nice could be a three-year-old very symmetrical definitely a beautiful 10 point mainframe uh here's a eight pointer that's a little bit taller i can't tell uh if this is eh, it's probably a two or a three year old but i think i got another one or two on the 10 pointer let's see there's the 10 pointer here all right come on move out of there yeah no shortage of turkey either i mean this farm is pretty much loaded with turkey there's a nine point i think we'll get a quick picture of there's the tall nine and then another nine i mean it's definitely 
uh, loaded with books. There's no doubt. I'm, I'm pleased with that so far, and I've only just started here. But these are two younger deer. Definitely, I would pass them. But, you know, you got a little bit of a taller genetic. And then here's a different nine. Yeah, that's a nine. My, I thought maybe it was a ten. But we've got a lot of nine and ten pointers here. All right, got number two going. This one's got beans in it. Um, you know, not the greatest. Um, I'll probably overseed this before the next rain. May hit it once more with clethodim, even though these beans don't like that. I mean, there is beans in here. At least they ain't going to grow pods, but there's some browse in here. All right, we'll keep going. They're picking up some more hay today. Here's one of my bean plots that I did burn off. Uh, this is where them bucks were in velvet. That nice nine point. All right, so this is the field where we got that nine point in velvet. Really nice one. But you see this locust tree right here. That's where I'm going to put one of my deer towers. So I've already planted this plot in on the left and on the right here. There's beans. I'm going to just leave these. But I'm going to cut a hole into that locust tree. I'm going to put one of them bank splines in there. And if I do start hunting, I'd like to get a look at that nine pointer up close and personal, or at least get them on camera, uh, HD camera, so we can look at them and study them. But let's finish it out, thanks. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna close out for today. And I got a lot of new stuff to go through, new camera stuff. But just my initial thought of looking at the, the two bucks from the beginning, to me, it looks like that nine point is a year older. He's got more muscle mass on the shoulder and the rump. Although the 12 pointer is a longer body deer. Um, the nine is out past his ears. The 12 pointer is about equal with his ears. So I'm looking forward to seeing these guys hard horned and get a better look at it. Um, but stay tuned, let me know your thoughts, particularly on these two, as they're the only two, well, okay, these two plus that other nine. So there's three bucks that I might consider going after. Stay tuned to the channel. I'm hoping to do a weekly update on trail cameras. And I'm going to be setting up deer towers here really shortly. So if you liked it, hit the like button. And I hope to see you again. And best of luck with your food plotting and deer strategies. Thanks a lot.